guys, so today I'm filming a video that I've been kind of putting off. It is my kind of one year update on my damaged hair kind of series. I have part one, part two, and part three, basically where I have gone through and tried out a bunch of different products and shared with you guys like what I thought worked. Here I am at about the one year mark, a little bit more, and my hair has drastically improved. This video is really going to be just more of like an update and kind of the products that have really stuck through with me till the end. Today I decided not to do anything to my hair. I didn't want to straighten it, put products in it, curl it to make it look better than it is because to be brutally honest, although it has improved so, so, so much, it is still damaged and most of it is from about here down which is a lot of what was up here about a year ago. Yep, my problem areas were on the top and kind of in the front and which sucked because like the worst of my hair was like where everybody can see it and what I did was I gave myself bangs to kind of get rid of it at one point so I kind of had like the shorter like blended in like kind of 70s bangs at some point and I would totally recommend that if you guys have like really damaged hair in the front like go to your hairstylist or if you feel comfortable and you can get rid of a lot of this front part by giving yourself bangs and bangs basically get rid of a huge chunk right in the front anyway I'm getting off track but as you can see my hair is not long but it has grown from about my chin to here in like the last year or so. I have gotten cuts, so it hasn't continuously been growing. It would be a little bit longer if I had never cut it, but I did get it cut because I just wanted to keep getting rid of the dead ends and dead ends and dead ends. Like if I'm gonna be totally honest with you, like once you've damaged your hair to a certain point, you kinda have to cut your losses. If you've got like stringy, like stretchy, cotton candy, like yarn looking hair that like breaks off, rips off, tears off so easily, especially when it's wet. Honestly, that's where I was a year ago. It was horrible. And you just have to cut it off. There is no saving hair like that. There just wasn't. I had hair about this length when the damage really started getting bad and I had to cut my hair to my chin. Even though that wasn't my ideal hairstyle, it really, I just had to do it and having less hair that was not as damaged really did end up looking better in the end even though I didn't like my haircut. Like, my hair felt so much better. I could brush through it without pieces tearing off. Honestly, guys, my number one piece of advice is to cut your losses. Cut off the worst of it. Even if it's, like, an inch, two inches. Like, if you can handle it, do six inches. You know what I mean? Like, get rid of what you can and then try to salvage the rest. One thing that I have done over the last year is I haven't really dyed my hair much. Like, I mean, like, my full length. Um, for the last six months I have been just a solid blonde and I've only been touching up my roots as they come in and then bringing my toner through the rest of my hair just to even everything out. Now I will say the Wella toners that I've been using aren't the most gentle on my hair and I might think about switching it up next time that I do tone my hair because I do find them a little bit harsh. Okay, so now I want to get into the products that... I really feel like I've made a difference. Most of these I think you've seen before in my other videos, but these are like the ones that I really think have made a difference throughout this whole process. So my number one has to be this Nexus Pro Men Split End Binding Treatment. This is something that I put in my hair as soon as I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair very gently and put a pump or two in, the, in my hands, work it through my damp hair. When I don't use this, my hair never feels good. This has been my saving grace. I don't know if they've discontinued this product. I really, really, really hope not. This makes my hair feel smoother. It makes my strands feel like, instead of a bunch of different broken pieces, it really makes it feel like just one piece. I don't know how to describe it otherwise. It is really, really a lifesaver. It really has helped me so much. The next product I'm gonna talk about is a hair color product and this is the Fancy Full Color Rinse. Also 
same kind of deal as the Rue color rinse in like the silvery blue bottle that you can get at Sally's. I actually think they're the same brand, they just have different lines. This one here is in the shade Silver Lining and they make all different colors of these brown, light brown, blondes, black, reds. Once you get out of the shower you just towel dry your hair and you just put this in your damp hair. Pour it all over your damp hair massage it in with your hands and literally that's it. You can blow dry your hair at that point um, to lock it in. You can probably just let it air dry. I've always blow dried it and it just like stains your hair this color. You don't wash it out. Of course it does wash out when you do wash your hair but if you're somebody who can go days without washing your hair this is a great alternative. I used this one, not in this color, but in the brown color for a long time. I had really awful, like greenish tinged brown streaky hair. And my hair was in such poor condition that I knew I couldn't, like my hair couldn't afford to be damaged anymore. I couldn't dye it. So I used this product to make my hair a dark solid brown and I would do it every single time I got out of the shower and it looked and felt just like normal hair and it made my hair look so much more even and so much better and I didn't have to worry about coloring my hair and damaging my hair. So if you're in that situation and you're like, I hate my hair color, I wanna change it, but I, I just can't, my hair can't handle it, try the Fancy Full Color Rinse or the Rue Color Rinse that you can get from Sally's or the drugstore. This next product I've talked about a lot, so I'm not gonna spend much time on it. This is the Redken Extreme Conditioner. I've used both the uh, conditioner and the shampoo. This is a higher end product. I buy it in the big tubs because I really truly believe that it works. It does help rebuild proteins um, and that you've lost when you damage your hair and every time that I use this I do feel like my hair is stronger. I've had this bottle for a really long time. I've still got about this much left. Use this every other time that I wash my hair. I don't want to do protein overload but I love this and I truly feel like it works. These are two drugstore conditioners that I use and I know that drugstore conditioners um, Pantene in particular have a bad name. People say that it just coats your hair in like plasticky wax and actually is worse for your hair in the long run and that's why I don't use it a lot. Once in a while I use a conditioner like this one. This is the Moisture Renewal or the Damage Detox um, and it just makes my hair feel so smooth. I don't use it a lot like I said but when my hair is feeling especially dry and especially like crispy. I just like to use one of these because even though it might not be helping my hair, like actually fixing it, it does make it feel really, really smooth. And sometimes I just, I just need that even though I know it's probably not the best product. This is also by Pantene and I mentioned this in my first video, I think. This is the Pantene Overnight Miracle Repair Serum. This is something you put in dry hair. You literally just put it all through your hair. Your hair kind of absorbs it and then you just go to sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, you just brush through your hair and your hair feels like so much healthier. Like it feels like way less shredded feeling, way smoother and way stronger. I don't know what kind of miracle product this is, but you can get it at the drugstore and it really, really does work. I swear by this. I feel like it's such an underrated product, but Definitely give this a try if you're desperate and you need something to make your hair feel softer and smoother. I also wanted to mention this Absolute Repair L'Oreal Mask. And this has been a really great product, although hasn't really been from me from the with me from the beginning because I die over the uh, AG Keratin Repair Mask. I haven't been able to find it. It's been, well, it's in the store, it's just sold out the last two times that I went to look for it. And um, I'll put a picture in if I can find it, but I talked about that in a few of my other videos. That was an amazing hair mask and I really feel like that mask brought my hair back to life along with um, this conditioner. Like I really feel like they contributed to my hair feeling strong. But this one is really great as well. It doesn't make my hair feel quite as buttery smooth as the AG hair, hair repair mask, but this one is a really good alternative and I definitely notice a difference when I use it. And the last two products I've got, 
This is a got to be smooth operator. This is also from the drugstore by the Schwarzkopf brand. And this is just a, basically a smoothing lotion. It smells like marshmallows, it's amazing. Just put it in my hair, it makes my hair feel like pillowy soft and like silk, really amazing product. It's been with me for so long. And then this is also by the brand Schwarzkopf. This is a shine spray. You can basically use any kind of shine spray you want. I don't think it really matters. I think L'Oreal from the drugstore makes a good one. I'm sure you could get a nice high end as well. When you have damaged hair, it tends to look very dull and not shiny. So just having that like extra little spray of shine everywhere just, I don't know, adds that like oomph of, hey, my hair is healthy, you know? I get so many people asking me about coconut oil. I personally don't feel like coconut oil has done that much for me. Tried it, I feel like it makes my hair feel heavy even when I wash it out. I don't like the greasy, oily feeling. Like, you'll notice I didn't really have any, like, oily products here. And that's just my preference. Oils might work for you. They just haven't been part of my regimen. I don't use heat tools that often. I try to kind of minimize that like on an everyday basis. So I'll just like blow dry my hair on the coolest heat setting and just let it go from there. Anyway, that is all the products that I wanted to show you. So I hope this kind of like helps document my process. I feel like it was a hard road to get here. Really, it was. I had to cut my hair. I had to have many hair colors and hairstyles that I didn't like um, because I needed to wait it out. Honestly, it's worth it. And even though you don't wanna cut your hair and you maybe don't wanna have the hair color that you have right now, just be patient. That is honestly the best advice that I can give. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too repetitive. I just kinda wanted to give a little update and um, Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos of me. Like I said, you can check out my previous damaged hair kind of videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.